Unit 5, Lesson 5, Decimal Points and Products. Number 1. A. Find the product of each number and one hundredth. Finding the product means that we're going to multiply. 122 and one tenth can be written as 1,221 tenths. So 1,221 tenths times one hundredth equals 1,221 thousandths. So the number ends in the thousands place. So this one is in the thousands place, which means the decimal point needs to go between the ones place and the tenths place. The final product is one and 221 thousandths. 11 and 8 tenths times one hundredths. 11 and 8 tenths can be rewritten as 118 tenths. So the multiplication problem would be 118 tenths times 1 hundredths equals 118 thousandths. This number ends in the thousandths place, so the 8 would be in the thousandths place, and the decimal would have to be put between the ones place and the tenths place. The final product is 118 thousandths. 1,350 and 1 tenth can be rewritten as 13,501 over 10. So 13,501 tenths times 1 hundredths equals 13,501 thousandths. This number ends in the thousandths place. So the 1 would be in the thousandths place and the decimal would have to be between the 1's place and the tenths place. The final product would be 13 and 501 thousandths. 1 and 704 thousandths can be rewritten as 1 and 704 over 1,000. 1,704 thousandths times 1 hundredth equals 1,704 hundred thousandths. This number ends in the hundred thousandths place, so the 4 needs to be in the hundred thousandths place, and again, the decimal will always be between the ones place and the tenths place. The final product is 1,704 ten thousandths. Here's another look at all the products when we multiply each number times one hundredth. B. What happens to the decimal point of the original number when you multiply it by one hundredth? Why do you think that is? Explain your reasoning. The decimal point is placed in a different location making the value 100 times smaller because multiplying by 100th is the same as dividing by 100. Example, 122 and 1 tenth multiplied by 100th or divided by 100 would become 100 times smaller and the decimal point would move to between the ones place and the tenths place and its new value would be 1 and 221 thousandths. Number two, which expression has the same value as six hundredths times 154 thousandths? Select all that apply. I selected all of them except for C because the product of C was 924 thousandths and the product of the rest of them was 924 hundred thousandths. Number three, Calculate the value of each expression by writing the decimal factors as fractions, then writing their product as a decimal. Show your reasoning. A. One hundredth times two hundredth equals two ten thousandths. B. Three tenths times two tenths equals six hundredths. C. One and two tenths times five or 12 tenths times 5 over 1 equals 60 tenths or 6. D. 9 tenths times 1 and 1 tenth or 9 tenths times 11 tenths equals 99 hundredths. E. 1 and 5 tenths times 2 or 15 tenths times 2 over 1 equals 30 tenths or 3. Number four, write three numerical expressions that are equivalent to four ten thousandths times 
five thousandths. Four times one over ten thousand times five times one over a thousand. Four over ten thousand times five over a thousand. That can also be read as four ten thousandths times five thousandths. And then finally the fourth example, four ten thousandths divided by one thousand fifths. Number five, calculate each sum. A, 33 and one tenth plus one and 95 hundredths. That equals 35 and five hundredths. B, one and 75 thousandths plus 27 and 105 thousandths. That equals 28 and 18 hundredths. C. 401 thousandths plus 9 and 28 hundredths. That equals 9 and 681 thousandths. Number 6. Calculate each difference. Show your reasoning. A. 13 and 2 tenths minus 1 and 78 hundredths. That equals 11 and 42 hundredths. B. 23 and 11 hundredths minus 376 thousandths. That equals 22 and 734 thousandths. C. 9 tenths minus 245 thousandths. That equals 655 thousandths. 7. On the grid, draw a quadrilateral that is not a rectangle, that has an area of 18 square units. Show how you know the area is 18 square units. Well, first I did draw a rectangle that was 3 by 6, so the area was 18 square units. And I used that rectangle to help me draw a quadrilateral that is not a rectangle, that is still 18 square units. So you would draw this quadrilateral that's drawn in the green color. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 5, Lesson 5, Decimal Points in Products.